Hello guys, welcome to Sarlet Tutorial. Today we shall see an example of application on HTML2 database communication dealing with the different types of form components using NetBeans ID. So first of all, let me explain you what are the things that I have to do. So here I am entering the form details like I am entering the information like Parvati age suppose if I enter the 21 uh, female if I enter the address suppose if I enter here Mumbai Mumbai comma Maharashtra India and BAMA or BBTEC she wants she for just looking for .NET package and Oracle package and she likes traveling and when I hit the submit button this data need to be stored into my database so here you can see student information your name is Parvati age gender gender is female your address is Mumbai qualification is engineering your course is dotnet and oracle your hobbies is reading and roaming user registered successfully so let me verify whether it is entered successfully or not so let me launch my SQL plus SQL yog so connect so you can see here student right click view data and Parvati is here 21 female Mumbai engineering dotnet and oracle reading and roaming so in this way I can able to insert the data here you can see the same information by using mysql also root show databases use test show tables select start from I am using the table called student and these are the informations are available okay fine so let me expand and let me show you once again properties and uh, layout let me increase the width so increase the width as well as height also colors I am looking for background white and foreground dark sorry background white and text must be somewhat dark okay fine so you can see here Parvati um, same information is available in this and from SQL Yoga also and from MySQL because SQL Yoga is a GUI for MySQL so let's work with this application what are the steps you need to follow to complete this application HTML2 database communication okay fine so let us see one by one otherwise I can show you the details like this so HTML form page to database okay fine so let me start working with this so HTML to database communication using NetBeans plus NetBeans ID plus database so in my case I am using the MySQL for your case you can use Oracle or uh, MySQL or PostgreSQL or IIS uh, sorry uh, SQL server or MongoDB whatever the wish you will feel complete com com comfort now in my case I am using MySQL so let me uh, I am using the JDK 1.7 I am using here ID that is NetBeans NetBeans 7.1 and uh, I am using MySQL MySQL database MySQL database that is you can say 5.5 uh, MySQL database 5.5 and uh, version is 5.5 so I am using uh, GUI for MySQL MySQL database that is SQL yog SQL yog ok fine and uh, server is inbuilt server along with this database I am using glassfish later on you can use Tomcat also or you can use JBoss also or you can use Oracle also okay but for my case I am using glassfish for time being 
but later on sorry oracle web logic or you can use web sphere ibm web sphere also and etc guys so you can use mysql also or if you are not happy to use or you can use or you can go for let me change the color where is my or you can use oracle or postgresql or you can use sql server and etc guys you can use you can use any other ids like eclipse or intellij or you can use my clips and etc or any other version as well as you need to have one jar dependent jar dependent jar for mysql i'm using for mysql i'm using connector mysql connector for mysql plus jdbc i'm using mysql connector mysql connector connector dot jar for oracle you can use or oracle for oracle you can use ojdbc ojdbc version dot jar okay guys and etc let us start working with this application so guys either you create table here either you create table by using mysql command command line client or you can use sql yoke so if you use sql yoke that will be easy that will be easy for you so let me drop this table let me drop this table i don't want this table so yes i want to drop now so either you can show tables you won't find table anywhere here you will find only user list okay so guys you can create table from here also or you can create create a table from sql yoga also i'm not interested to use uh, mysql command line client i will use a uh, sql yoga so first of all create the table create the table okay so let me launch my sql yoga once again connect so i am using new localhost my sql is my my mysql database software is installed in my local machine so that's what localhost username is root password is root and port number double three zero six test connection yes connection is successful hit the connect so you can see your test database is there let me create the table let me create the table and if you look at the form if you look at the form and this form contains these attributes like name name age gender so let me add here name name var cap if i give here 50 name age i'm using int it's two digit only so i suppose i'm going for four digit at max so i'm using gender var cap even if you go for male and female or m or f at max 10 digit or i'm going for 12 digit after this male and female so name age gender i'm going for address here so address var cap var care of i'm using here 100 then after address uh, other form components qualification courses and hobbies so here go for qualification qualification var care 100 100 is not required 50 is more than enough qualification then uh, courses and what is next courses and hobbies so your course course var care of suppose 50 or you can go for 100 if you want if you wish to add more number of attributes and here hobbies hobbies var care of here if i enter 100 so there are total seven columns one two three four five six seven and create the table let me give the name called student 
student uh, yes table is created successfully hit ok do you want to add more tables no I don't want to add so if you look at the history in background table is created the que sorry query is created so let me copy this query let me show you so this is the query okay this is the query it is a parent query from mysql okay table in mysql okay guys fine so i created here either you create manually or you create drag and drop let us create the project let us create the project so then your netbeans should be ready file uh, file new new project java web application hit the next hit the next give the name so html to database communication html to database communication uh, hit the next you can use java w5 or java w6 uh, but in my case uh, uh, only Tom glassfish server is configured you can use any other so if you use java w5 you have to configure your servlet in web.xml file externally by using url pattern and servlet name and servlet class okay and if you use java w6 web java w6 web then then no need to configure just you have to use the annotation at the red web solid annotation that's the difference okay and java double e6 here i'm selecting java double e6 if you use 5 i'll give that step also if you use 6 that also step i'll give hit the next no i don't want to add any frameworks so hit the finish so it's index.jsp I'm not interested to use index.jsp so let me delete this index.jsp so delete this index.jsp even you can work with index.jsp also but uh, we are learning solid so I'll, I'll proceed in JSP in the next sessions in upcoming session so let me close so this is web.xml if you don't use 5 if you sorry if you don't use java double six you have to configure in this way you have to configure in this way okay fine so guys let us proceed now so let's create the project i give the name called right click so rename so i created the project project name html database is the project name let us add the html let us add the html page to web pages directory so what you have to do just right click on the right click on the web pages and add so web pages here right click new you will find html here so here is html give the name index index.html okay fine index.html so you can see here hit the finish once you hit the finish you will get this page so let me write the body body does not contain does not require so here html to html database communication database communication so guys uh, now we need to start writing this code here in the body tag okay fine so just already i explained about this so we can go for this whole information fine in the body in the body tag so here So this is the code that just have a look on this code.
then courses were added we added courses also here then after adding the courses then we'll go for this whole stuff this is the HTML code then we have to add the dependence we have to add the sourlets then this, these are the so after adding the sourlets so these are just uh, we'll proceed for adding the registration sourlet get the parameters get those parameters then we'll proceed for adding the we'll proceed for displaying the values after displaying the values uh, we'll write the JDBC code after writing the JDBC code we'll insert the record we'll insert the record after inserting the records we have to close the strings and uh, fine this is all the information required so let us see now one by one what are the things we have to do so Hello guys let us see now this example web applications after adding now we'll write the code for HTML we'll write the code for HTML this whole code is required now okay fine so in my HTML so where is my HTML so here in the body tag let me write the code here complete code let me somewhat scroll down let me use the space and here okay guys so here let me keep everything in a center I want center tag so let's close center center tag is closed now let me keep your font the font I want to use the color let me use the font color is red font color is red and let me close the font let me close the font here font tag close the font tag and let me use the heading here h1 that is that h1 example web application example web application web application web application on html so otherwise let me copy and paste this whole content from my this is the content i'm looking for so let me stop typing this much of big heading so i have pasted here slash h1 okay guys so i'm done now h1 is done now let me use let me close my font tag and blah 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 so after adding the font tag let me add the I need to add the table I need to add the table also so before going to add the table let me add here form tag so here is my form tag form tag let me use the action here for time for time being I will keep the action as empty and uh, you can use the method for uh, we can use get or post we can use the get or post so under, under the form tag let me keep the font here one more font tag let me use the color so here is blue color and let me keep everything in h2 form h2 font okay and close up h2 close up h2 h2 is closed now let me add the uh, let, me, let me add the table here table table added under table let me add the border table border so border let me give the border as one let me close the table tag table tag is closed let me add the body 
table body let me close the table body table body now under this table body let me add table row so here is my table row and close off table row table row under table row let me add table data so let me close off table data slash table data and i need this table data for two times so let me keep the copy so here is table data let me use the name so here is the name so copy i'll add this name here where is my admins so here is the name and here let me add the input type tag input type input type let me use the text here and whose name let me use the name here and close of input tag so i'm using t name here okay fine similarly i need age so i'll copy simply this tr and td so here instead of name i'll use here age and here instead of t name i'll use here th text box age okay fine now text box h now after this let me add then what are the other attributes let me go for next attribute that is at gender let me add the gender here gender so gender is check uh, radio buttons so let me add one more table row table row copied and pasted same stuff that is that i did earlier so under gender so here is my gender insert gender and here i need td i want to go for input type i don't want to go for text here i need radio input type radio let me use the name here gender one and we are going to use the value value mail for m or you can use mail also if you wish to store m for mail or mail and uh, then by default let me go for checked or unchecked okay so let me keep it checked 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 true and uh, let me use the label called mail so i need same for one more time so copy this whole input tag and let me use space somewhat space that is by using non-breaking space semicolon ampersand non-breaking space and let me add here input type in stop mail let me add here female let me add here female and whose input type is radio g1 value female and both are not checked one more word remove so checked remote okay fine we say about the gender next after gender we will add the address as a address as text area okay fine so text area so i need this tr and td tag once again so copy so tr td so here let me stop h i'll use address input type in stop in stop uh, so input type you know, i don't need to use you need to add here rows number of rows you want to show five rows and number of columns you want to show suppose i said i want to show 20 columns okay and here let me use the name that need to be accessed in my solid program okay
and if you if you have wish to give you can shop input type input not input type so let me use here text area text area and here I don't want to go I want to give the hint enter address and close of text area okay fine if it is not visible let me show you in this way so tab table data text area number of rows I added here number of columns added rows and calls and uh, name I mentioned T address T A D D R S enter address and text area and close of td tag okay guys so now next up uh, let me use td and tr tag once again so so here name uh, what is next uh, I want to use a drop down I need qualification qualification so let me add this qualification here so here is my qualification and here I don't need to go for input type so let me close this input type <coughs> so add here let me go for now td let me use now select select let me use the name here and uh, qualification qlfy qualification close I have to close off select under the select let me add the option option not option group option option and under this option I have to add the values so let me show here engineering or I can go for B or B tech B B tech okay so let me close the option tag and uh, so here b slash b tech b b tech okay fine and close tag of option so i need this for one more time so one more time let me go for suppose instead of this one let me go for mbbs mbbs or md or somewhat more than enough so i want to go for here medicine mbbs or md next i want to go for here in shop place let me go for general or art science commerce art science art science commerce i want to store in this way so this value will be stored so let me use here art science instead of art science commerce let me use here ba or ma ba or ma okay fine so here just change to ba or ma master of arts or master of commerce okay guys so here is my qualifications done now we shall proceed for next we shall proceed for next courses will proceed for now next i think courses yes courses we'll go for courses now i need same tr td tag so here i'll go for courses now so in shop age i'll go for i'll write here course courses and input type so here i want to use courses as a multiple to be selected so i need here i will use as it is this but i'll change some other values and stop input type text okay option so here courses and let me use this let me change name to course and let me go for multiples multiple okay as you can see here in my web banf web.xml and right click open so here you can see here so multiple so i need these values so 
so here this option okay fine done now after courses now select tdtr then we'll go for one more tr tag i think uh, after this courses we'll go for hobbies we'll go for hobbies 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 let us add the hobbies here so hobbies and here i don't need i want to go for check boxes to be selected here so input type input type let me use checkbox and let me use the name here ch1 and let me use the value so what are the values are there let me check here i'll use reading books reading books reading and uh, by default let me keep it checked checked why is that one more checked we have made somewhere yes we have made checked for mail also uh, radio button here add checked then after adding checked checked true checked true either you can make it true or simply reading books left and uh, that's it and it is i need this check for multiple times and you can use here ampersand non-breaking space non-breaking space i want to use the space for multiple times so home not visible so i'll use in this way i want to use this for another two times watching tv i want to store here watching tv watching tv so in shop here reading i'll go for watching tv okay and what is next traveling 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 okay so traveling also added now now traveling then we'll go for we'll proceed for now traveling i need similarly i need two buttons so let me use two buttons here so for two buttons i want to use same trtd so scroll down mm. so i add here two buttons so here i don't need name so i'll use here input type input type i want to use here submit and then value what is the value you want to show so show data or submit you can see i want to use same name submit or store data also you can use and uh, use same for reset also control v i want to go for reset reset fields so here is you can go for reset okay fine and uh, that's it so just run your application just see how it looks so where is the run run so this is your application guys so this is your application html to database html to database fine so reset something like pune some mbbs dot net reset uh, 
let me I think I made check for all so let me check it check it all not check it so here check it remove check it remove okay and let me refresh the page so the two check are gone okay fine refresh by default checked okay fine so this is your page now let us proceed for let us proceed for now next step here I added now after this we will proceed for next step what is the next step so I design this form uh, let us add the jar let us add the jar I'm using I'm using mysql I'm using the mysql I'm using the mysql this is the table student data so view data so I'm using the mysql so I need to add mysql jar I need to add mysql jar to the libraries so go to your libraries expand so libraries is here so I'm using glassfish server you can see your JDK 1.7 and glassfish server 3.1.2 so right click add jar once when you hit the jar here you can see here you have to let me use the same name so mysql connector mysql connector connector java hit the open hit open so you can see mysql connector hyphen java 5.1.10 hyphen bin dot jar is added now so in my case I added bin dot jar file for mysql for mysql for mysql database the jar is i'm using for oracle if you are using for oracle you can use uh, like ojdbc 14 ojdbc dot ojdbc version dot jar okay any version okay version x so dot x okay find some version maybe so next we need to add the sorlet we need to add the sorlet next so right click on the project new you can see a sorlet here so here is my sorlet so what is sorlet let me use a name called registration sorlet registration sorlet okay fine source packages done uh, okay anyway it's uh, these are the warnings hit the next so url pattern so if you are using uh, fiu if you are using fiu you can add the information to deployment descriptor file in web.xml file okay so either you click or don't click if you click you will get web.xml file and information will be added if you don't click at the rate web solid annotation will be added okay so i want to show you in both ways so first of all let me check and then let me show you fine here is your, here is your web.xml file and here is, here is your uh, java solid registration solid dot java fine so i don't want to use these comments so let me remove these comments so remove fine these are the other methods so editor in fold so let me remove these comment lines first of all okay fine so remove 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 so remove fine fine so just move here so first of all i need to get the values i need to read the values fine so to read the values let me read the values first of all so to read the values so here is my read the values read the read data data from data from form of page that is my index.html page okay fine so how can i read string name and uh, let me let me hold into my request parameter request request dot get parameter and here you can pass the parameter what are the parameter names so let me close my existing web.xml 
let me open the my own index.html sorry here is projects so expand index index.html and uh, so added here so this is the t name this is the t name but before going to add the t name let me show you web.xml file and this registration solid need to be added here first so copy and add to the action registration solid so let me give that point also after adding after adding so configure registration solid as a url url instead of calling the url you can call as a action for form tag you can call the action for the form tag okay fine control c action for form tag tag of index.html page like this okay this is this i gathered from web.xml index configure url version solid as action this is available in web.xml file okay if not then you can go for add the web web dot annotation add the web dot add the red web solid annotation this will see also later on for jw6 for jw6 okay this is for jw5 okay guys fine i configured here not to worry now after this we'll go for getting the all the request parameters fine get the parameters now go to your web dot web solid so here is where i configured at that web solid that were gathered from here url pattern at the web solid and we add into index dot index dot html in the action tag so so read the values so let me get the all the parameter names so here is my t name get the t name and configure here as a t name okay fine so i need these for seven times two i'll change three four five six seven okay guys so here is my th if i'm not wrong th then i need to go for g1 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 then i'll go for here after g1 let me go for next term. t address then here is my t address then next after t address let me go for qualification so here copy and paste qualification then after qualification let me go for now courses courses then after courses let me go for hobbies okay ch1 okay fine okay guys now so here i want to go for h h and let me pass into integer dot parse int parse int of okay guys so here is parse int let me configure here int int okay fine and here is request dot get parameter let me hold in gender gender and here address to address address the next qualification 
then let me hold into qualification to elf y then after qualification then let me hold into get parameter i want to go for values get parameter get parameter values this will bring me the array this will bring me the array so let me hold into uh, courses cr okay and here also get parameter values get parameter values and convert into array so i will use your hobbies i will use your hobby now i got all the values now my intention is to show all these values here so So let me keep everything in center. Mm, I don't want to use title, the body, and blah blah blah. Okay, guys. So by default, it's a body only. Let me give in center. Let me add your font. Let me use the color. Suppose color is red. No, I could not use here double quote. I should use here red, uh, single quote. And you can use here the label. So like. Uh, student information is student information is uh, let me close off my font tag and close off so let me increase the font here so you can go for h1 and close off h1 close off h1 okay guys so font h1 now let me show you all the information let me show you all the information so don't need body here so i need again color mm -hmm. here is h2 i want to so let me break the tag let me break so it is break tag okay once I break now after a break go close off h1 now h2 I don't want to use red let me use somewhat like blue color font color blue h2 and let me display all the information so name is name is let me show the name here name and i want to show all for two three four five six and seven so let me show your age age is and uh, after age then let me show here gender gender is so let me show your gender gender after gender let me show your address and address is and then let me show the qualification qualification is uh, qualification then i need to get these values one by one so let me use string courses one or courses let me end with empty and let me use for loop for for i less than let me use here cr cr dot length length then i plus plus so here i can go for combining crs2 crs plus let me add somewhat nothing to add let me use here cr of cr of i and let me append comma and some space okay now here i got courses so here I can show your courses okay and selected 
courses is so then let me work same for for hobbies because I need to get the hobbies also so HBS and here H HB and here let me add HB here HBS so here so HBS okay fine added hobbies also so selected hobbies selected hobbies are so in shop is R let me use here HBS okay fine mm, okay guys so this is more than enough let me dry run this application how it looks now so run the application now let me enter here Ganesha age suppose if I enter 23 male control A uh, suppose if I enter from CSMSS Chhatrapati Shau of Engineering Aurangabad Maharashtra okay fine I want to add this content into my header also I want to add this content to my header also so you can see here so index.html so go here let me add the contents so here let me use h1 tag close of h1 tag h1 tag and Aurangabad A-U-R-A-N-G-A-B-D Engineering Okay India DT code 2533 Okay fine And uh, uh, I want to use break here so let me see how it looks control f5 okay guys so this is too much back so let's use some different colors I think oh, let me close here and refresh okay guys this is more than enough uh, I want to use red color here and I want to use red color green color here so font font I want to use different font for so here is green and close of green if it is not visible to you let me make it visible home scroll somewhat left home okay fine so example java web application okay guys so fine one is for red one is for green okay guys okay fine so let me add here ganesha 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 power and here let me add suppose age is 22 male he is from something like uh, Kranti Chok Kranti Chok Aurangabad Maharashtra he selected B B Tech Java package and Oracle he like uh, reading books and traveling when I hit the submit so you can see here our font is bigger and bigger so let me change the font so I'll change the font here soon so for time being go to your registration solid and scroll down so where is the font 
h2 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 so everywhere h2 h2 is not required so i'll change okay so this will increase the font and rerun the application now rerun the application so let me enter here kanisha or shankar 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 patil age is 21 Suppose he belongs to Sidco, Aurangabad. His course is BTEC. He want to pursue Java. He like watching TV and submit. So it is showing all in one single line. We have to use break tag, or you can use you can use a break tag, or you can use uh, you can use a break tag, or okay, we'll use the break tag here break tag control x control v control z let me use the break tag here break tag control c control v control v control v here also let me use the break tag for better visibility so break is added everywhere and uh, you can use here h2 it's two ones okay now let me rerun save it rerun the application parvati suppose if i add a mauli mauli chavan Age, suppose you find a 20 female, she belongs to central bus stand or CBS, CBS near Baba petrol pump Aurangabad, Aurangabad BTEC Java package only job package watching TV and traveling submit so you can see here Mauli name is Mauli Chavan age is 20 female address is qualification is and selected courses is Java watching reading and traveling okay guys fine so let us see now now next step I want to write the code for inserting the record okay now I read the, all the values I want to insert the record so so write the logic logic to work with database communication database a database communication so here first of all let me create two variables mm connection and prepared I added the jar already so here is my connection connection java.sql.connection I am looking for java.sql.connection so con initialize with the null prepared statement I am looking for prepared statement java.sql.prepared statement yes so let me initialize with the null so after creating these connections and prepared statement next uh, let me use those statement here now let me use try and catch block so here is my catch and an attached block let me keep here exception exception e and uh, let me add here e dot print stack press and here let me load the driver class name so class dot for name 
so I'm working with MySQL so I'm loading MySQL route class name so let me write here com dot mysql dot jdbc dot driver and let me use the connection connection com so driver manager dot get connection I want to use three parameter first is jdbc url with protocol and th second is username and third is password so password is root username is root let me add the protocol jdbc colon colon mysql colon colon slash slash so my database is in my current machine so that's what i'm using localhost double three zero six is the port number slash database name is test database name is test so here is my test okay this is the test content students right so that's what i'm using the test here so jdbc colon mysql colon slash slash localhost test so this is for mysql database this is for mysql database if you are using oracle so for oracle also okay i'll give for oracle so if you are looking for oracle for oracle database but i'm not using oracle anywhere here but you can try if you wish to so i need same just i need to change the two parameter so let me keep in comment line page down let me keep in comment line because so here i'll add may not be visible let me add here so to work with oracle let me add here oracle dot oracle dot jdbc dot driver dot oracle driver oracle driver okay oracle dot jdbc dot driver dot oracle driver and for and for connections and all the stuff so here I can work with uh, uh, let me change to jdbc colon oracle colon if you are using thin driver thin colon so in shop using double quote at the right jdbc colon oracle colon thin colon thin colon at the right localhost colon port number is for oracle by default is 1521 and uh, you have to pass the service id you have to pass the service id that is a colon in shop test or cl okay fine and here maybe the username is somewhat like a scott password maybe like your wish password maybe people is to keep like this password okay fine so let me keep it comment line because i am not using for oracle database so guys now after working with this let me let me write the query string query and here insert into insert into what is the table name i think student right yes student so here is my student insert into student values so we are having seven parameters so i'm using seven questions one two three four five six seven and commas all are separated by commas one two three four five six okay fine so let me create let me call let me create the ps dot prepare statement con dot prepare statement prepare statement and let me pass the query query and hold into page down hold into yes okay boss fine so up to here are done now let me set the parameters for all ps dot let me set the string set string 
and here also I need this for seven time one two three four five six and seven so guys so here's one two three four five six seven and uh, let me use here name let me use here age but it should be instead of string it should be certain and here is my what is next term what are the column names are there name age gender address let me go for here gender gender address after this gender address and then qualification course hobbies so qualification qualification then here course then here hobbies hobbies okay guys so here up to here we are done now we will execute the prepare statement ps dot execute update home in let me hold the result let me hold the result next uh, if if result is equal to 1 okay then I want uh, I want to show this result so everything in center not to worry let me keep your font color I want to use break tag here break tag let me use the color in single quote let me use the green green and uh, how can I add here okay fine result result and double quote one student inserted saved or inserted to database successfully okay fine and if else so in the else block so here I want to use green I want to use here red result mm. so here instead of using this so let me directly green and red student saved insertion save or insertion student insertion to database failed okay try again student information how was corona question me dal dal min tham so student save or save to database failed or try again fine guys this is more than enough and finally let us close the resources so let me close mm, close prepare statement so close the resources close the resources then let me close the connection found not clear warnings not clear warning let me close the connection also okay guys fine that's it and remaining stuff as it is so I don't want to go for here done so guys now after completing this application now we shall proceed for now almost done we reach up to here now 
this is the case but uh, if you are not using web.xml file even we can work with the annotation also even you can work with the annotation if you are using uh, if you are using jwe6 so let me scroll up page up so here you can use this annotation also okay at the red web solid at the red web solid because already we added six we added six this will also will work if you are not happy to use uh, web.xml file web.xml file and to configure all the details all the details in web.xml file this uh, registration solid and url patterns and everything and solid mapping and solid everything then as well as not to use web.xml file directly you can add uh, you can use at the rate web solid annotation at that web solid annotation you have to configure your class name solid class name and url patterns that is registration solid same relation solid is available as action as action in your registration solid in a registration solid okay fine okay boss so let us see now registration solid here mm. form registration solid so we'll add here form registration solid now so just run the application so right click what is the next step after this page down 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 okay this is the sin these, these are the configurations so run the application run the run and test the application so right click to your application here you can see your run run so it's running now so let me add here information okay fine mm. let me add here ganesh power and here age is suppose 21 male he belongs to uh, kanchanwadi aurangabad he stays at uh, CSMSS hostel CSMSS hostel hostel Kanchanwadi Aurangabad his course is B B Tech he want Java package and Oracle package he like traveling and reading books and when I hit the submit so see what happens one student information saved or inserted successfully to database okay fine let us verify same details in your database so refresh you can see here Ganesh power same information is added here okay fine boss so in this way you can able to perform the operations let me add the break tag break tag page down 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 so page up control C control V here also control V okay and let me rerun the application now rerun the application and here instead of Ganesh power I'll go for Mauli Chavan and age is suppose if I enter 22 female enter suppose here Itkeda then Nathpuram Itkeda Aurangabad okay she is pursuing BB tech she want dotnet package she like watching TV uh, not reading books but she like watching tv and she like traveling and hit the submit so one student information saved a successful database whose name is mauli chavan and uh, student information just verify same details into database so refresh you can see here mauli chavan okay fine so you can see all the information otherwise you can see same information in your mysql also so root the font may not be enough so properties let me change the font here screen text okay screen text as it is let me go for font uh, console let me use 18 or 20 layout width let me decrease the width so font this much of font is not required 
18 is more than enough okay layout and uh, height let me decrease uh, so colors let me add here colors screen text and screen background is white text is so uh, mm, this is the text so let me keep here okay this is visible now so use test mm, show tables so select star from student so these are the information is available okay fine you can see all the information is here okay fine this is about mysql this is about the mysql okay fine so you can add some more information also suppose i'm adding here suppose i'm adding one more information so let me go for reset reset i'm adding shubhangi gosling age is suppose if i enter 24 23 female she belongs to umarga maharashtra bb tech she's looking for only java package she like it she don't like anything but she like traveling hit the submit and record inserted so let me bring it to up to here okay mm. okay guys so and these are the informations okay fine so you can see here let me show you select star from student so this is my sql and these are the database you can go back and can hit enter okay boss fine so guys these are the examples to work with uh, to work with the uh, html to database communication html to database communication fine so in the next session we shall see about uh, how can we able to configure how can we able to configure uh, all the information how can we able to configure all the information sorry how can you configure uh, other servers other servers like uh, tomcat uh, tomcat server jboss server weblogic server or websphere server with the netbeans id uh, here by default along with the netbeans id i received glassfish i received glassfish if i go to services and if i go to servers you can find your servers so how to add the servers in next session we shall see so to test your application you can test in this way also let me use the name so fine or you can use your machine name or you can use your 127.0.0.1 okay fine so in next session we shall see about procedure to configure to configure procedure to configure externally installed externally installed various servers various servers with netbeans id with netbeans id like uh, let me explain you what are the servers already um, glassfish is already available so i'll go for configuring tomcat apache tomcat and then i'll go for jboss i'll go for oracle weblogic Oracle web logic. I'll go for configuring web sphere. Okay. Then we'll configure. Okay, it's more than enough. Oracle web logic, IBM web sphere, or even Oracle bracket sun glassfish 
okay but externally installed not internally externally installed externally installed so all are externally installed fine um, okay guys fine in next session we shall see about remaining stuff fine thank you